We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Nasir Notwa, who is General Manager of the Gulf Countries for the Intel Corporation. Mr. Notwa, thank you very much indeed for being well, with us thank today. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about broadband. The conference theme here is broadband for sustainable development. Why is broadband important to Intel? Well, the internet today is so pervasive in our life. It encompasses everything that we do, whether that's in a personal context or in a business life. Uh, at Intel, we have a vision that states uh, something along the lines that we want to create and extend computing technology to connect and enrich the lives of every person on Earth. Now, we're striving towards that vision by doing many, many things. Uh, working in education, healthcare, environment sustainability. But being a semiconductor company, it's also about delivering compelling devices such as desktops, notebooks, tablets, smartphones, etc., uh, to, uh, to users. Now, those devices by themselves are fine, but the real economic and societal benefit that comes from that is by being connected. And therefore, broadband for us is a pivotal part of that. So unless we have affordable connectivity, these devices are fine, but you know, countries will not reap the benefit until we have you know, affordable broadband access. And what is Intel doing to promote widespread affordable broadband in developing countries? At Intel, we have a program called World Ahead, and uh, we've been using this program now for many, many years, really to connect the next billion users. And some of the elements of the World Ahead program are things such as making access to devices more affordable, uh, making access to connectivity such as broadband more affordable, uh, working in education, uh, and also you know, developing local content. Uh, under the World Ahead program, we've managed to put across the world in many countries affordable broadband packages with devices uh, to connect the next part of the next billion users. We've developed, develop, developed for example, and delivered uh, 20 million affordable laptops uh, in over 50 countries. So it's again about having the devices or connectivity and putting the programs together to make sense to deliver in, in those countries. Now ICTs are very much on the agenda for Intel, particularly in education. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean education uh, is a fundamental pillar of any economy. Uh, it's fair to say that all governments are investing in education to transform education to what we believe are needed for 21st century learning skills. So to arm our kids you know, with uh, the realms of critical thinking or project-based learning, to move from a teacher-centric model to a, a student-centric model, but albeit a teacher is, is a very important part of that. Uh, so you know, education transformation for us is, is a very key, uh, key component, and ICT connected schools, the connected devices, that's a very important part of that. But again, that connectivity needs to be underpinned by affordable broadband so that you know, kids can let, get the maximum from the use of devices and collaborating uh, with the other schools and our peers and colleagues. This conference is once every four years. What would you hope will come out from this conference? Well, one of the big things that has come out of this, you know, the conference is a recognition that IT and education is very, very important. And I believe that, you know, there's been a resolution passed which will accelerate the adoption of IC, ICT and education. And Intel is a signatory to this and will be very, working very closely with the ITU to make that happen over time. So for us, that's a, a very strategic thing and a very important thing to, to make happen. Mr. Nasser Nertwa, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching.